if you were to criticize her, it seems like you could do it on merit, right? It's just fairly obvious. She uses a lot of words, but she's never really saying anything. She's confused. She does the awful laugh all the time when she doesn't know what to say. Uh, but of course, uh, what this would lead us to believe in 2022 is that if you criticize her, you're racist, because that's exactly what happened on the morning show called The View. Take a look. And I don't know that it's about her laughing, because I agree, I think that would be very inappropriate and that that's something that they do to women. I think that she has gone on multiple occasions a little bit underprepared with, with some of the questions that she's been asked. Lester Holt asked her a pretty basic question that she couldn't answer. So I don't know if it's a staff thing, she's not prepared enough, perhaps she's not expecting the questions. I don't know what it is, but I think that's the issue. This is like the fourth or fifth time. What it is is that they constantly question the qualifications of black women, and that's why people are saying that she's unprepared. And oh, I disagree. I think she's You can disagree, but that's woman. the truth of it. And so this is based in racism. This is based in misogyny. And we're talking about a woman that has extensive experience um, abroad, extensive experience as an attorney, expensive, uh, extensive experience as, a, as a, the chief <clears throat> legal officer of, of our, one of our largest states in the country. And I, I think this is just much ado about <coughs> nothing. I mean, we didn't talk about Vice President Pence's, uh, the right didn't talk about his handling of the COVID ep epidemic, which I think, or the AIDS epidemic, which I think led to, you know, thousands and thousands of deaths. And what we, what they're talking about is, is, is her laugh. She was there um, as an emissary, really, and she wanted to reassure the NATO allies that, uh, ru that as Russia steps up its attacks on Ukraine, that the United States was going to be supportive. In fact, she's in, I think, Bulgaria right now. She is prepared. She is seasoned. Um, abroad she she gets wonderful marks across the board but this is just something that i think happens to women and especially black women all right sonny hostin we're gonna have to talk about you for a moment and i understand that you are a black woman but that has nothing to do with why i'm about to criticize you which in your world means that i'm racist but in reality no that's just not the truth and until the rest of us stop playing this stupid game i know you're going to keep encroaching on us. First off, let me just, one comment that she said that made literally no sense was that Mike Pence, uh, his response having something to do with the AIDS crisis. The AIDS crisis was basically in New York and San Francisco in the mid early to late eighties. Uh, Mike Pence was vice president about three years ago. So I'm a little confused. He also is from Indiana. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that. Um, but if you were to criticize his COVID policy, uh, as vice president, that would be just fine. And by the way, plenty of people did. And it had nothing to do with them criticizing him because he's a white man or he's not a black woman or something like that. Um, the woman who spoke first there, who made, uh, I thought, several salient points was Stephanie Grisham. I think she's a guest host because they can't find a decent conservative woman who wants to sit on a panel with four liberal maniacs and be yelled at and dismissed the way Sonny Hostin just dismissed Stephanie. Stephanie's point was not to overtly and and sort of over the top criticize Kamala. She said maybe she's underprepared, maybe her staff isn't giving her the right information, et cetera, et cetera. Like she actually was quite measured in her criticism. And then Sonny just immediately, nope, nope, it's because she's a black woman. It's because she's a black woman. And it's like, it has nothing to do with that. It has nothing to do with that. And I really, really mean this. We have to stop playing this game because it is it is dragging us into hell. That is what it's doing. That if you legitimately criticize someone, if immediately the other side is able to look at whatever their intersectional oppressions, perceived oppressions are, and say, no, it's because they're black. No, it's because they're gay. No, it's because they're trans. No, it's because they're Muslim. We got a major problem on our hands because we will only be governed by backwards idiots. And maybe that's exactly where we're at right now.